Hello, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Laura Kane After Dark. We are the podcast of the people. Yes, yes. podcast of the people. <laughs> We're the little podcast that could. I'm Laura Kane. Here's my fabulous co host, Eric Rimmer. Hello. And our wonderful, great, <laughs> amazing, yeah. two year. Brian's face. Oh, my God. <laughs> producer, Brian. Happy to be here. I'm glad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell. I'm lying. You know what? Well, that, okay. that, fa- that face Got was him. for you. It was not for me. <laughs> so I brought Antonio with me to, and, and my other friend Maggie, to the concert, to the party. Antonio had a fun time. And oh, he always, no, he always has a fun time. <laughs> so Antonio says to me the next day, he goes, Brian, I don't think he liked me. I said, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. What? Brian, I, bar- I barely talked to him. He was I like know. not there most of the time. But your demeanor is <laughs> something that you have to get used to, kind oh, of. That's fair. Because like sometimes, like in the beginning, I thought like you absolutely hated being here just because your demeanor is so <laughs> <laughs> like, like straight line for a mouth, like totally concrete face. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's not. That's funny though, because like I talked to him like a little bit when he would like, but then he disappeared so fast and like never came back. Quickly. I know he came in at like three in the morning. Oh, yeah, wow. He came back. I was like, there was, we had like a slumber party in one of the rooms at VA House. It was also awesome. it was really fun. Oh boy. Um. Okay, so let's talk about our fabulous sponsors before Eric has a story about. Oh. What's it? Can you give us a tease? Um. Well, I'm I lead a very docile life okay and something non-docile happened yeah okay okay with that here's capital growth inc and la jolla cosmetic surgery Jay Center. Wurzler. hi monique hi dr riedler <laughs> Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Look no further than Jay Wurzler, your trusted and our favorite certified financial planner. Life is full of financial decisions, and with 30-plus years of experience and a dedication to your financial well-being, Jay is your partner in achieving your financial goals. So if you're at or near retirement and you want to know if you have sufficient assets and income sources for a comfortable retirement, or if you are simply changing jobs and you're unsure about what your options are with your current retirement, plan, please reach out to Jay. Jay Wurzler and the team at Capital Growth go the extra mile to ensure your financial success. Their office is a one-stop shop for financial advising, estate planning, tax preparation, and divorce analysis. Call Jay today at 858-552-6960 or email him at jayw at capitalgrowthinc.com. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center is the place to go if you're looking to rejuvenate your appearance, tighten and shape your body, and just do something special for yourself. You deserve to look your very best. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a natural, youthful appearance. They are absolutely the best in the business. Try out their treatment planner at glamfam.com. It's so easy and amazing to use. We can't say enough great things about their board-certified plastic surgeons, and guess what? They offer flexible payment plans so you can start your journey to a better you right now free consultations too. the very best in the business is in our own backyard how lucky are we make sure you tell them that laura kane after dark sent you we love everything about la jolla cosmetic surgery center go to glamfam.com okay so eric has something that happened to him he lives a very basic life which is good he lives alone on the surface he loves he just he he like he's he knows where every dollar is he's very <laughs> on time with his bills he like his refrigerator is stocked with food he goes grocery shopping on the same day every week you live a very structured you know easy peaceful life yes what happened i got a complaint from my downstairs neighbor <laughs> what he said in the whatever world. they don't know it's me oh. and so the email said i don't know what that person above us does but it it sounds like they're deadlifting at all hours of the night and it shakes our whole place and i was like well first of all i'm hardly ever home and number two i don't wear shoes in the house like what could it have possibly been were you moving furniture no or something? i wasn't doing anything just walking yeah so did the so the apartment complex had to say, "Hey, knock it off to you." Well, no, they were totally laughing because they know me. 
Yeah. And so they're like, um, yeah, we we think that they're hearing something else. And I was like, well, their dog barks all day and I don't say anything. Right. Well, so, I'm surprised about that. Yeah. Um, that leads us into our next segment. Oh, God. Here, just play some random music. So now I'm thinking sure. about doing jumping jacks tonight. Oh, God, just to piss them off. <laughs> music to my ears. No, 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 no. We're playing Hood Wars. Dun, 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 oh, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. The hood is a scary place. Well, my hood is. Yeah. But it's just so, it's interesting to me. The next door app. You know how people post on there, they post things for sale, they post things, you know, whatever. There's ads on there, but there's also incidents, people posting. So I thought it would be funny if we read our prospective neighborhoods next door app postings. Brian lives in Alpine, Eric lives in Mission Valley, I live in Hillcrest. So I think, Brian, you should start. Okay. What's some of the things that go on in the town of Alpine? Uh, really boring stuff. I found a driver's license this morning while on a walk at Wrights Field. If you lost it or know anyone who did, send me a message. Okay. So that's titillating. That was sweet. That was sweet. Very Alpine. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. about you? Um, my first one <laughs> is, is this your cat? My backyard garden is being used by the local outdoor cats and possibly lost felines as a litter box fight club. I'm doing all <laughs> I can to deter them as I grow food for my family. But I wanted peop- to give people an opportunity to find a possible missing pet. Okay. That's Mission Valley. Mm-hmm. Now get the scary music back. <laughs> Man screaming in the distance. Then one minute later, kicking and banging on our front door. Happened around 9, 10 p.m. <clears throat> I'll just read another one since I'm... Man masturbating. Hello, neighbors. Sorry to be blunt. Sorry, that was me. But I ran into this man <laughs> masturbating behind bushes across from Vaughn's. Oh, I saw that one. Oh, my God. I've that, attached that one a was photo. <laughs> I was able to capture this person. Bald, ponytail sticking out of a hat, blue shirt, khaki pants, tan leather shoes, closed-toed sandals. Oh, my gosh. I know who that is. <laughs> so, so, anyway. <laughs> that was Laura. <laughs> uh-huh. Now, back to Alpine. Uh, okay. Half of these are about chickens. <laughs> I knew it. I knew they'd uh, be about animals. <clears throat> uh, this one is not. This one is came home tonight and we had a lost dog waiting for us. It looks like a black lab mix with white paws and white on his neck. He also has a light blue. Color. All right. Anyways, lost dog. If this is your dog, please leave your phone number and I will contact you. Okay. Sweet yeah. neighbors. And the dog had a gun. <laughs> no, the dog did not have a gun. Furiously masturbating. <laughs> oh, no. Not now. Fine. But what about a Mission Valley? Well, in Mission Valley, what is going on on the side of Michael's in the back of Walmart's parking lot? Big police presence. Okay. Now Hillcrest. Heard banging on our back iron security screen door and ran to see what's up. A young male with dark bushy hair, floppy white dress shirt was attempting to get into my house. Then he ran out of my patio. My neighbors saw him get into my yard by and jump the fence. I ran out, chased him. He jumped two fences in my yard back And then back, and my neighbor chased him until he jumped the fence and got away. I don't need someone banging on my door in my neighborhood like that, like Axeman. Well, somebody just did a few minutes ago. I know, and I said, come on in. I know. What the hell? What am I doing? Okay. Bring out the welcome wagon. Now, back to sweet little Alpine. Okay, here's an interesting one. Hey, yo, neighbors, what are you paying for propane? Now, funny thing about Alpine is everyone has a massive propane tank in their yard somewhere. Um, and why is that? I don't know. Barbecues. There's like very little gas lines in Alpine, so everyone has oh, to get propane. Oh, so okay. So if you want to have a barbecue or an outdoor pit. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Wow. All right. What about Mission Valley? Did anyone near Texas Street hear a woman screaming at the top of her lungs around 2.30 a.m.? Hands up or I'll shoot. Oh my God. Wow. That Mission was Valley. <laughs> wow. This morning, just after 7 30, as our son left for school, this vile being walks past our home exposed with his pants down. I'm so disgusted oh, this God. happened not only in a residential neighborhood, but during a busy time when children are walking and drive driven to school. 
It's so sad our impressionable young children heading to school are exposed to a grown man's privates. Totally unacceptable. I'll spare you the photo of him bending over several times. <laughs> oh, and God. yes, this was re- reported immediately. That one wasn't me. <laughs> There's always naked people and people doing horrible things. In my <laughs> oh my God, what it really hell? is. Back to Alpine. Uh, yesterday, late afternoon, I lost one of my best hens, quote unquote, in tears. <laughs> I'm looking for one seven month to ten month old hen to round out my number. Oh my god! So. Wow, that's some serious stuff right there. And the hens were naked, exposing what? themselves. Oh my god, those trashy hens. Mission Valley. Question: Why do neighbors think it's okay to put cones in front of their houses, blocking everyone else from parking there? It's a public street. <laughs> it's not your private road. We pay taxes just like you do. And now Hillcrest. There's currently a police helicopter circling Hillcrest, making an announcement about a missing person. The announcement says this guy is a white male in his 80s, wearing a hospital gown, (laughs) blue pants, and red shoes. His name is Otto. They're asking for anyone who sees someone matching that description to call 911. Can I tell you, in my neighborhood, how many people are walking around in hospital gowns? Lots. Oof. Because they get treated and then they don't, then where do they take them? You know, your if, you're, if you're, if <laughs> you're, yeah, they can come here. Oh, I'd probably let them in too. You p- probably would. would. Okay. <clears throat> one more round of hood wars. <clears throat> what else is going on in Alpine? This one shouldn't shock you. Uh, does anyone successfully use an OTA antenna? Specifically, can you get Fox News? Oh Thanks. boy. Wow. Problems yeah. in Alpine. Alpine. <laughs> Alpine. Mission Valley. Heads up. Today, a woman, mid 20s, 30s, question mark. Medium complexion in a reddish or burgundy coat. Entered our property with a tub of fluid, eyebrow, and wandered around. It was obviously private property. Happened at about noon and she was intentionally quiet. So we didn't notice her at first. Told her to leave. She went without issue. And continued to wend around the corner and along the south wall heading north towards Adams Avenue. Police were notified. No picks, unfortunately. Oh. And then Hillcrest. Someone busted oh, out uh, the uh, windows. Hold what? on one second. What? Oh. Square build, but not obese. <laughs> square? <laughs> I've never heard anybody I've never describe it square. That before. Except for a, a SpongeBob. Okay. <laughs> uh, someone busted out one of the windows of Expressions Hair Salon on the corner of 25th and Broadway last night. Glass shards strewn all over the sidewalk and throughout the shop. And then this last one, this guy walks into the Target in OB. I, for some reason, I get OB because I guess I'm in this that hood too. And gets anything he wants into a big bag he took from the store and walked away without paying. The store personnel were aware of him and didn't do anything. Yeah. They can't, can they? Well, and I think calling the cops, cops don't even really do anything anymore unless it's over a certain value. It's not their fault. They can't, but But it's crazy. I heard some people talking at the dog park one day, and they were talking about Walmart and about how people, theft is so rampant. It's just people, and you can't chase them in the parking lot because, God forbid, they fall and, you know, twist their ankle. They're going to sue Walmart, right? Yeah. Well, so, th- they shut down two Walmarts in San Diego. Um, what ones? Uh, the Parkway one in El Cajon. I forget the other one. But that one's been there forever. Wow. So that was a pretty, that's pretty crazy that's gone. Yeah, I know. They said they're going to have to raise their prices or, or like, or shut down. Sh- yeah. Sh- um, well, and look at Target. Everything's locked up now. Like yeah. everything's locked up. Shave cream, everything. Even yeah. eyelashes are locked up. The dollar stuff's locked up. It's just shoplifting is out of control. Out of control. Out I of control. I do have a final one. Oh, Mission Valley. Back to Mission Valley. Back to Mission Valley. It's a video of a kid popping a wheelie on a bike. Okay. Are these your kids? The kid popping a wheelie on his motorbike driving down Mission Village has a death wish. He pulled out. He pulled out of Harcourt onto Rhonda the other day right in front of my car. <laughs> Some people just hate fun. I know. Jeez. I, I hate when people complain about kids being idiots because, of course, the kids are going to be idiots. But, like, I don't. Let do them. Accomplish? Let them. Yeah. God, we were able to. If he gets hurt, he gets hurt and he'll suffer the consequences like the rest of us did. Exactly. Right. See, it sounds like you grew up in a heart generation, the way you're talking, because yep. we used to be out all day and night our parents didn't even know where we were all we knew is we had to be back by five 
I for dinner. Wasn't that extreme, but I definitely like I didn't grow up with iPads and stuff, so. Oh, you outside. weren't allowed. Well, you weren't allowed to have that. No, they didn't exist. Oh, they didn't exist. Oh, yeah. and when you were super young, yeah. I, I mean, even when they did exist, they were really expensive. You didn't have not many people had them. Now I understand the convenience and being a mom and being so busy and trying to juggle other kids and putting an iPad in front of your little toddler to keep him occupied. But you have to do that to me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's not. Great it for makes me. Either. It makes me um, uh, sad. Yeah. I just yeah. go, oh. Kids should play outside. Just, uh, But they can't. They're, people are afraid they're going to get stolen and trafficked. Yeah. It's a That's whole true. new world. A whole new world. Okay, we're playing a new game. Okay. It's called The Goat. I'm going to read you a topic, and you have to tell me the greatest of all time. What is the top, top one of each one of these topics? Okay? Okay. The Goat Game. Okay. Fast food restaurants. Go. McDonald's. Rubio's. What? McDonald's sucks. McDonald's rules and no, McDonald's Rubio's does awful. too, but the greatest of all time. Yeah, McDonald's is the worst of all time. Just because it's been the most successful, it's not the greatest. In my opinion, I think it's Chick fil A. Yeah, that's fair. I like, I think Rubio's is best. Okay. I love this okay. Rubio's. McDonald's is square at the bottom, though. I hate McDonald's. Okay. Well, geez, I know. We know. We it's know. Gross. No one should eat there. <laughs> Don't eat at McDonald's. Who, who is the goat? Superheroes. Superman. Captain America. Or Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. He's more He's more like down to earth. He's one of us, kind of more. Yeah, than the guy the that shoots of. webs out of his hands. Is right. Yeah, yeah totally. Just he's like one us. of us. He's just a New Yorker like the rest of us. Okay, this is, should be good. Movie directors. Steven Spielberg. Robert. Uh, um, Steven Spielberg. Scorsese. Scorsese, yeah. Steven Spielberg. Really? Scorsese's great. Yeah. But he's a lot more hit or miss than Spielberg is. Greatest of all time, Spielberg. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll accept that. TV shows. I Love Lucy. Breaking Bad. Breaking probably. Bad. <gasps> Better Call Saul, maybe. Breaking Bad. No. Greatest of all time, Breaking, Breaking Bad. I Love of, Lucy. Nah. I mean, you, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Very much. Golden Girls. Gold. The Sopranos. There you go. Breaking Bad, though. I know that was my uh, my favorite TV show of all time, ever, 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 ever. Okay, board games, Risk or Monopoly. Monopoly, yeah. Uh, I like Candyland. Uh, Candyland. I was just gonna say Candyland. Oh my god! Oh, it was so fun to play I when I was a kid, Candyland. and with my kids yeah, too. Yeah, that was ever. That was the 1960s version of the iPad. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, comedy movies, <clears throat> greatest of all time. Foul Ooh. play. Okay, mine is Step Brothers. I loved that okay. so much. Becomes her. That's a good one. I'm going to say The Other Guys with um, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Oh, no. Is that a good movie? Oh, it's great. Is it oh. hilarious? Oh, it's, it's actually really good. The uh, I've never seen that. You should watch it. Okay. The Other Guys. I think it's on Netflix or something. Okay, this one's easy. Ice cream flavors. Chocolate chip. Coffee. What? Chocolate chip cookie like dough. Mocha. Ooh. Coffee ice cream's really good. Yuck. That's like my least favorite ice cream. Okay, That's door, crazy. Doors that way. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, mint chocolate chip oh, myself. Oh, yeah. That's good, too. Okay. Sneaker brands. Nike. Vans. Nike. Ugh. Reality TV Converse. shows. Oh, you pick, you're changing your answer? Converse, Converse is good. Yeah. I don't like. Nikes are overrated. Uh, reality TV shows. Greatest of all time. Oh, God. Survivor. Yes. I agree. It's not my favorite, but Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, also a good one because that kind of broke the, the Housewives franchise That's broke the mold. Scripted. Well, I don't think it started that way. Do you? No, I think it started with the Osbournes. It's got to be Survivor. Survivor, because there was nothing like that. Like yeah. that was the biggest thing on TV yeah. when it was first on. Oh my gosh! And finally, vacation destinations. Hawaii. The greatest of all time. You know, it depends oh no, on where San Francisco. Oh, what? No. New York. No. Uh, I say like somewhere where they were Disneyland, the Maldives <laughs> or something. Sure. Yeah. Turks and Caicos, something yeah. like that. Oh, I think that's fair. I really want to go to some water that's so warm and clear with the huts on, on sticks in the water. I'm not a beach person, but like I, I went to Hawaii when I was well, I've been twice, but like when I was like 18. And man, that makes you a be going to Hawaii makes you a beach person. 
because oh. the water is just bathtub warm and it's so wonderful so fish out there it's so cool and living the aloha lifestyle yeah. you just kind of have that kickback it's all cool no they're actually pricks but you know no they're not they are what are you they're talking pricks. about pricks where stop it hawaii which island maui mm-hmm. yeah huh. how so what happened to you Nothing. They're just like, they're not, the the laid back thing is not really like a real, th- it's not a super common thing out there. It's not like everyone's living this like, oh, whatever goes sort of thing. Right. Well, not everybody, but. You I do wouldn't even say majority. Oh my God. Okay. Now play the rando new news music, please. Okay. Because I have some rando news stories. Did you see the UFO thing that happened in New York? Um, no. Oh. What happened? I'll, I'll read it. Okay, but just summarize for me. Like, did somebody see a UFO in New York? Yeah. Like a lot of people? Yeah. When? Just the other night. Are you, okay, so, all right, all right, all right. You read your round. Now, 10 things people are convinced others only pretend to enjoy. Here are some responses. LinkedIn. Who Ugh. even, I have a profile and everything. I don't ever, 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 ever look at LinkedIn or read any posts by anyone at all from LinkedIn. I don't know why. Maybe I should. I'm going to start messaging you on LinkedIn. Why don't you start talking into the microphone? Oh. Edible arrangements. No, thank you. No, those things are actually so good, though. Oh, God. They're not worth the money, but if you do get one, they are delicious. The fruit ones? I mean. Yeah, some of them have chocolate with it, too. Oh, see. Mm-mm. Family, <laughs> Christmas, and Thanksgiving gatherings. People pretend de- to enjoy them, but they don't really enjoy depends them. Depends on the family. It depends. It depends. Cold plunges in ice. Have you done that before where you plunge in like super cold water and then you go in the jacuzzi? A lot of people do it for the health benefits. Yeah. Though. it feel, You feel so, it's almost euphoric. Yeah. It's so cool. So I, I, I disagree with that one. Running. People Ugh, claim agree. they love to run. Running sucks. Running I only run if that. someone's chasing me. I wish I love. I wish I wish I loved running. I really mm-hmm. do. I would love to run a marathon, but I don't want to train for. I tried. I actually tried. I even went like every Saturday and like. Oh, that's not enough. You have to go every other day, the minimum. Well, this was like a specific. We're leading up to the rock and roll marathon yeah, training. You still go every other day. But I just, I could not stand it. I yeah. even bought new running shoes and everything. I was ready to go. And I'm like, nope. I just don't have the lung capacity or I just don't have the patience or the, yeah, I don't know what it rough. is. Um, voluntarily waking up at 5 a.m. Oh, Nobody does that. Some on people like that, actually. Wait. I don't understand it. I like, I love being up early. I love being up late. I hate being tired of up early though mm-hmm. uh-huh i love being up late i love yeah. being up until like three in the morning and being up so being up early is cool too but maybe it's because you feel like you're kind of alone yeah because everybody else is still sleeping well, that's why being up late is cool i know here's the worst part though is staying up really late and then waking up at like noon and you're like well okay the day's wasted basically yeah i know i don't I remember the laura last doesn't day. feel like that though no i haven't slept until noon for in a long time <laughs> No, you haven't. Oh, my God. I haven't slept correctly in a long time. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Gender reveal parties. Oh, gross. Nah. People pretend to enjoy those. No. no. And Twitter or X or whatever it's called. Do you, do you like lo- that? Yeah, I love it. Do Twitter. you? It's great. Okay, tell me why you like that so much. So many unhinged people on there. It's, it just, oh. it's just not a fun thing. No, it is. And there's great info on there, but you can't believe anything you read and you just have to laugh at it. You can't take it seriously. What's What did you go O oh, for? I was agreeing with what he oh, said. Oh, I thought you were going to add something. No. Okay. The average person starts to get more negative at the age of? 25. Nope. 50. No. 40. 42. God, when I'm 42, I'm going to be in trouble. You are already there. <laughs> God, Laura, you and I. I know. Wow. Well, I, I'm i not negative. You're not. You're I somewhat just, negative. I just want to point out, I'm not this negative in real life. Well, I know. I've met your girlfriend, and she's, like, absolutely 
stunning and I've never wonderful. Met Brian's girlfriend. She's just a delight. <laughs> and I'm like, he's got to have some secret like powers or like he has a whole, a whole nother personality <laughs> <laughs> we're not aware of or something. I don't know. How is it, it that Brian loves me more and I haven't met his girlfriend yet? Because I, you bailed. You bailed on something. Yeah. We were, we were going to have uh, a family outing. Oh, we have to talk about our family outing we had the other night. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay. Would it have been illegal if yes. I would have driven to from my house to Taco Bell in the trunk of your yes. car? Yes. Yes. I really wanted to do that. No. Because we had that story. We had a story, I guess, on the podcast. Anyway. So, Brian. It wouldn't have been. In, wait, hold on. It wouldn't have been interesting. Like, what would have happened? Nothing. I mean, we I don't know. Maybe, there, maybe it would have been scary. I don't you know. You get there and you're like, that was crazy. I was in the truck. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, no, we crazy. Would, we would have driven her down to the border and just <laughs> the car there. The craziest thing was how much our bill was at Taco Bell. Oh, dude. Well, you know, like, uh, like compared to four years ago, fast food prices are up like, I think it's almost 400, two and up 150% or something. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm just saying the amount of food we got oh, was substantial. The price. It was like $39. Like, who has ever spent that much at Taco Bell? Well, that's pretty normal that's, nowadays. Oh, my really? God. Really? Yeah. She just... She just he doesn't get any more treats. Inflation, baby. He's a door. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Okay. So now women are lusting over a certain type of man after seeing Zendaya's new movie. And they're called rat faced men, rodent faced men. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, sexy rat men yeah. are the new hot thing. Yeah. Thinner guys with pinched angular features like Kieran Culkin. Tom Hiddleston, Jeremy Allen White, and Zendaya's two co-stars in her new movie, Challengers. Oh, and like Timothy Chalamet, too. Timothy Chalamet is a perfect one. He is so... I love him. He's scrawny and... I know, but he's sexy. Yeah. What? I love him. I he's so... Like ta- it's because he's so talented. He's good. Did you ever see Say My Name? You yeah. mean Call Me By Your Name? Yeah. The one where he's in... in, in <laughs> See, my name is the name of a song. The Say one where he's in like a, like a kind of a legal relationship. Yes, yes. No, I didn't. No interest. It's so good. Oh. I loved it. Uh, the World Economic Forum ranked the best countries for tourism. And guess where America came in? Last. Number one, baby. Yeah. We're oh. still the number one tourist attraction for the world. For Yeah, for like foreign countries. We're huge. Okay, guess what's next? Uh, Japan. That's third. Ooh, close. Uh, second? Spain. Mm-hmm. And then Japan. And then France. I thought France would be like higher up. And so then Australia. France is going downhill, I've heard. Was that because of the bed bugs? No, because Paris is just a crap hole now, apparently. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. What's wrong with it? Is there just it's not expensive be- and dirty? Yeah, dirty. Real? Who's running that place? Uh, the. Country of France is... I know. <laughs> like, who's the one in charge? I don't know. <laughs> do I need to make a phone call, Miss Kane? Yes, you do. Make it okay. A Google search. Send maybe. them a letter. Get me France. Finally, the McAllister man- Mansion from Home Alone is for sale. I think it's sold, actually. Oh, really? I think for like $15 million or something. Well, it was for sale for $5.25 million. Oh, maybe it was only five then. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms in a suburb of Chicago. So, and I've never seen that movie. You, you haven't seen Home Alone? No. I've seen Home Alone. I have no interest. Wow. You should watch it. But why? Because it, it's a pretty good movie. It is funny. But is it, does it hold up? Yeah. Yes. Because it's old. Yeah. Really, really old. Like, why would I go back and see that? What? You Are know you, what? What? Wait, what is this? <laughs> okay. I, hey. Yes. Did you get Barbara Streisand's biography? I'm reading it. Okay. Is it like so good? It's really good. Okay, because I heard Howard Stern talking about it. Yeah. And how he like was listening to the audio version of it. And he's like, she was bullied hardcore yeah. when she had a hard mm-hmm. gr- oh, growing up. And the mom wasn't real nice to her either. He said that there was one time when they all went out for ice cream or dad took the, her and her oh, friends out for yeah. ice cream. And then he said to her, you don't get any ice cream because you're ugly. Mm-hmm. What adult would say that to a child? Yeah. yeah. But look at her now. I know. So it's a big book, huh? It's yeah. long. Oh, it's huge. And to, it took 10 years to write. Yep. And then if you listen to the audio, I think it's a total of 48 hours. 
There is no oh way it's been hours. Somebody she... said somebody said it was forty eight hours. I can't remember who. That's crazy. Let me look it up. That's like two days of listening. Well, I I think it was he listened to it in. He said he listened to it in forty eight hours. Oh, okay. No, it couldn't possibly take that long. Because that it, the book is probably about that big. It's like War and Peace. It is huge. Where are you in the book? I'm about a quarter of the way through. So how old is she at this point? Uh, she just started her career. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. She got a job singing in like a little nightclub, like a dinner club. Wow. <laughs> it is indeed 48 hours. You're oh, okay. Kidding. Holy yeah, that's shit. what I thought. It is 48 hours. Wow. Yeah. And I just, wait, did I just ask if who, if she voiced it? She did. She did, yeah. So she, wow. That is insane. Yeah. I th- I thought when I heard that, I thought, Jeez, I know the book is big. Here, here's something interesting. The longest chapter takes 59 minutes to read. The shortest chapter takes 11 seconds to read. Wow. She's a very good writer. Um, you know how there's just um, people that can write, and it's almost like a postcard, like you can see what they're describing? Yes, yes. That's how her writing is. I was actually really surprised. I wonder if she wrote... All of it, like from, or if she had help, or I don't know. It do, it ghost doesn't. Writer. There was no ghostwriter mentioned. Well, yeah, it did take her ten years, so maybe mm. it was her. I'm reading it. Just I just got it the other day. It's the book about Mad Max Fury Road, and it's called Blood, Sweat, and Chrome. Oh yeah. And it's why does that? It's just about because it's all about the how what a cinematic vision this movie was and all the tension and drama that was going on behind the scenes between Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron oh and then the director George Miller George Miller uh they originally were going to shoot it somewhere else but there was a huge tropical storm that hadn't happened in a hundred years or something and it wiped the place out and it had to be desolate and it was, you know, mm-hmm. so they had to, they went to Nambia, I think. I forget. But Mad Max Fury Road is a, like, legitimately oh, fantastic it movie. Is. It I, is. I, I can't wait to see Furiosa. I, yeah, me too. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. What makes it so good? It's like nothing you've ever seen before. It's like, it's like a true, like, Ben-Hur level epic of, yeah. of this generation. The, I remember the Mad Max I saw. There was just, like, like two Jeeps that were all tricked out looking. They're racing the desert. Oh, no, and this, 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 this. It was boring. Fury Road is like nothing you've ever seen before. It, it's like, take that movie, and the movie is literally on crack and mm-hmm. also maybe psychedelics. Like, it, I mean, I know, it, like, we're getting a lot of praise, but it's genuinely that incredible of like a difference it really is and i'm not usually into when movies did that like come that. out a couple of years ago like 10 years ago i think was it that long i think fury road did it get critically oh yeah it did very oh well. it is super yeah it this is. one did too this new one furio see knowing me good. and knowing how i don't like the the car chases and that kind you of would hate it i would you would absolutely i, hate I don't it. know uh t- oh 2015 so eight years oh, okay or almost nine you you might like it because it is like it is like an incredible spectacle. You literally can't believe what's going on on the screen in front of really? you. Really, like, it's largely oh, wow. real. Too. Yeah, it's a big. And stunt it's like show. how they did it is unreal. Oh my god! There's a scene in it where they're driving through the desert, and the you know it's the tricked out cars and jeeps and all that stuff, and it's just the it, it's euphoric almost, and they've got guys on these bendable sticks that are oh, yeah. bouncing back and forth between I remember uh, seeing that how they did maybe it I and no it. one died it's in the trailer you probably saw the trailer yeah, Amazing. it is an incredible movie though it's like genuinely like one of the greatest movies of the last like 20 oh, years oh yeah easy is there any movie that you're looking forward to coming out um i'm really looking forward to furiosa uh-huh and then i'm really looking forward to um the one with, um, oh, I think COVID ruined movies. It's sad. It, it did. It, it, it it's a big bummer. Well, because now, I mean, I, I was just looking at something online, and it's already playing 
Like Madam Web it's, is already on. Oh yeah, I just well, watched Madam that. Oh. That's because it wasn't making any money. But it's not. It's not COVID that ruined movies. That hurt. But it was streaming services that ruined movies. Oh yeah. Oh that. And it was specifically. It was probably HBO Max that did it because HBO Max was the first big one to just be like, you can go see it in theaters or you can just stay home and watch it for free. Yeah. Like they they released the Matrix the same time on streaming as they did in theaters. Yeah, that happens really? a lot. Now. And why would you go see it in theaters then when you can see it for free? Exactly. Yeah. Well. I mean, if you have a big sure. screen, you, you know, for most people, for the most so part, it's yes. really streaming services. And especially these places are like, we're going to release in like literally two weeks after it comes out in theaters on streaming. So it's really streaming that ruined it. Wow. Well, I just read that uh, AMC isn't doing all that well. Oh, again. no. We're going to lose movie theaters now, too. No. AM, yeah. AMC has been. Did you look up the UFO too. thing? Yes, I did. Okay. So it was, it took place in New York at a Blue Angels um, uh, uh, demonstration. Yeah. Okay. So um, TM, TMZ obtained it and it lasts no more than a nanosecond, but it's an unidentified object whizzes across a clear blue sky during a Blue Angels demonstration in Long Island last Friday. The object in question moves at a wildly fast speed as one of the planes does its thing in the air, and considering that this is a super Hornet jet that we're looking at, it's very impressive. For those unfamiliar with the Blue Angels, they are the U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, so they know a thing or two about speed, and yes, this thing is going faster. Wow. Did it look like a Tic Tac? They say that it does. Wow, that looks like a spaceship that you would see in like an old 70s yeah. movie. Like, it's the second alleged UFO sighting in New York in recent months. Ooh, they're getting ballsier. They're yeah. like, they're branching out into the big city now. Um, by the way, and the other one in the Empire State looked awfully similar to this with something whizzing across the sky. Oh, I love stuff like this. Oh, I, I just, more alien stuff, more alien stuff. Mm -hmm. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Um, okay, well, that's I it for the show, you, you guys. Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. I always appreciate it. We I, appreciate you, Brian. I appreciate you. I appreciate Brian. Okay. And um, <laughs> we appreciate you for watching and listening, of course, and love your podcast. I love you. Thank you. I love you, too. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, too. I love you. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. You treat me like, you're, like I'm your girlfriend. Yes. Okay, lock out, please. Stop kissing we'll, my forehead. We'll watch a little Madam Web tonight. And oh, then, my God. And then a little Nookie. Right? <laughs> Let me go and please lock out. Love your podcast. Oh, my God. Love you, my sweet babies. Bye.